Hello, my name is Eric Sussman. I am a neurosurgeon with the Hartford Healthcare Air Neuroscience Institute. I specialize in cerebrovascular and endovascular neurosurgery, which is the subspecialty of neurosurgery that focuses on the blood vessels of the brain and spinal cord. Patients come to see me when they've had some type of stroke, uh, when they find out that they have an aneurysm in their brain or some sort of vascular malformation in their brain. So I work with a, a very broad multidisciplinary team uh, in the AIR Neuroscience Institute. Um, there are neurologists, there's neurosurgeons, there are stroke specialists, there are interventional radiologists, uh, excellent nurses, uh, physician assistants, nurse practitioners, um, and everybody's focused on taking care of patients with neurologic disorders. I really want to emphasize the fact that I don't only do surgery. I can uh, help by prescribing medications, uh, making recommendations to see physical therapists or other uh, non-invasive specialists. Um, and I can also uh, treat many traditionally neurosurgical disorders um, with non-neurosurgical techniques such as radiation uh, therapy uh, and endovascular surgery, which is a minimally invasive type of surgery. So 20 or 30 years ago, the only option for patients with aneurysms and other uh, vascular malformations of the brain was traditional surgery, whereas endovascular procedures do it through the blood vessel, whether it's through a blood vessel in the groin uh, or a blood vessel on the wrist, and then use catheters and wires and other um, very advanced devices in order to treat the blood vessels from within. Patients should know that I consider uh, surgery to be a last resort. Uh, and I only consider and recommend surgery for patients once they've exhausted all non-surgical options. Referring providers should know uh, that surgery isn't the only thing that I can offer to a patient. I can also offer endovascular, radiosurgical, and uh, medical treatments when that is the best option for the patient. Outside of medicine, I like to travel, spend time with my family, ski, and, and get out and go hiking.